Hello YouTube friends. I've just <laughs> picked Sadie up to say hello and she's not interested so I'm gonna have to let her go but look she's healing beautifully. <laughs> so we'll just let's see if she wants to stay rather than making her stay and no she doesn't. Okay so um oh good morning and it is a good morning last night was the full moon the blood moon the last moon of um july i was really looking forward to seeing it but then the storm clouds gathered and the thunder happened and the heavens opened and now outside there it's pouring with rain i went and stood outside in the rain last night with my nighty on <laughs> because I was so pleased to see rain it was pouring with rain and it was rather lo lovely and then I came in and had a shower so the earth is grateful it's soaking up this fabulous rain in a way that I simply can't do with a hose pipe I just can't it's just not possible to water like rain does and so I'm uh, really pleased but I'm doing this little introduction here because um, I got the Indigo quilt back, the Flying Goose Merchant and Mills quilt that um, I made it, oh, a few weeks ago now. And the person who it's for wanted it to be quilted on a long arm quilter rather than hand quilting like I usually do. So that was fine. So we sent it off. It was a bit of an experiment for me. I've never done anything like this before and um, there were a few hiccups along the way um, phone calls back and forth it was all fine and then we've ended up with um, what you're going to see now so it came back to me because I was going to put the binding on it and I did that yesterday in the sunshine uh, I did a little bit of, I, I sewed it on the day I got it back the binding because I'd made the binding already so stitch that on with the walking foot on my sewing machine and then I did some of the hand stitching and then I did most of it yesterday in the pavilion uh, in the sunshine. Uh, now the rain is pouring. Uh, it's, uh, I'm grateful for it. We are going to get more hot weather again, the forecast says, uh, but uh, that, um, that's what's happening at the moment, rain. The garden is so grateful. So, this is a little introduction to the little bits and pieces. I took uh, pictures of the quilt. I've sent the quilt now. I've finished the binding. I've sent it away to uh, the person who it's for. It's going to live in Rio de Janeiro, which has made me quite happy. Uh, none of my quilts have gone that far, I don't think. And that is that. So pleased about the rain. So pleased. I'll show you the rain. Look at that fabulous rain. I just planted out all those lettuce over there. Oh, I just noticed that my lawnmower's out. That's not good. I shall have to bring that in and give it a wipe down. But anyway, never mind about that. Look at this fabulous, fabulous rain. It's back from the quilt room. And I'm about to open it and I'm quite excited. This is the the flying goose quilt that I made using all that beautiful indigo fabric from Merchant and Mills. It's been a way to be long arm quilted uh, in at a place called the Quilt Room. And it's taken a bit longer than I would have liked, but I've got to get this ready and back off to the person who ordered it. love that. I, it's a good job isn't it? I like that. Yeah I'll put it up here and then we can talk about it up here. So I'll pin it onto my design board because I like it. I like it. I'll tell you what I'll just hang on I'll talk to you. So what we chose to do then was a grid pattern. We chose cotton that would disappear into the background. It's so you can see when I get back here 
It's hard to even see it. I was worried that the lines would be so close together that the quilt wouldn't have any drape at all. But it has got drape. Okay, I'm cool with that. Sitting outside in the pavilion, I've been doing some gardening all morning. It was really, really hot. And so I've put the shade of the umbrella up and brought the quilt outside to do some more of the binding. I've got this thing on, so hopefully it won't be too windy uh, or um, too much extra noise. Hello, come on, are you coming up? You can't sit on the quilt. Just a little bit of more, my dad. You can't sit on my knee, darling. So I, I have the binding ready, and I stitched it on yesterday. No, I'm sorry. A dribbly cat and a client's quilt is not a good combo. So for once, Norma, I can't have you on my knee. Mm, that's not going to go down well, is it? You can sit there, though. I'd be quite happy for you to sit there. Yeah, so I, I stitched the machine, stitched the binding on with my walking foot, and now I'm hand quilting it. You're a cat, a persistent cat. You can't. I'm sorry, Nor. Over you go. You stay over there. Oh dear. <laughs> what do we put away, the cat or the quilt? Well, not the quilt, because I need to get this finished. It's an absolutely glorious day. A little bit windy. Had the most unusual thunderstorm last night. This thunderstorm then. Everything got very um, hot and overcast and muggy like thunderstorms can. But it seemed to me like there was thunder was going on for minutes at a time it was really oppressive so I I went to bed early and watched it from my bedroom window enormous massive downpour just the one and then that was it so anyway this morning it doesn't feel like there's been a thunderstorm at all I think that might mean there's another one on the way I'm stitching with a double um, thread of grey, which is the same colour grey that's in the uh, long arm quilting. And I'm just catching the back of the quilt. You know what I'm doing. <laughs> Quite a lot of the people who watch this are quilters, so you know exactly what I'm doing. I've made it a very thin binding. I think I've said before that I like the quilt to have an all over design, like in this case and then have such a thin binding that it frames it. I'm not a big fan of border after border after border. I think that these a lovely overall design with a thin narrow binding is what I prefer. And I'm quite happy with the quilting. It's not made me a massive fan of long arm quilting, I have to say. I do still like hand stitching, but I would do this again if somebody wanted to do it. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here in the pavilion Tonight's a full moon. I remember right at the very beginning of this channel, I, I made a decision to tie the posts in with moons, moon days, moon phases. And that quickly became impractical as I was either not around on those days or there was either nothing to say or too much to say, so I needed to post in between, all of that. And so I very quickly abandoned uh, some of the rules I imposed upon myself early on. Nobody needs any rules. But it, that doesn't mean that I don't observe moon days. I have my moon calendar and I'm always aware of what the moon's doing. Tonight it's a full moon. It's the blood moon. It's going to be a really interesting one. I'm liking how this is looking. Yeah, I am actually. So my lovely.
relatively normal. She's just settled down here. She's just purring away. She seems to have understood that she's welcome, but she's not welcome on the work. She's just here. Oh, dear me. It's so hot. It's lovely. I don't mind it at all. Okay, guys, I can't think of anything more exciting to talk about. I'm very happy to be doing this in the cool and shade of the umbrella here with some water and the whole afternoon stretched out ahead of me. It's a bit hot on my knee. That's okay. I'm just going to sit here and stitch. I'll show you when it's finished. So here it is then on my design board. There's that little thin edge that I've just stitched on. Yeah, I like it. I think it looks great. I made a little tie for it and rolled it up and tied it up. There it is, the front and the back. Then I packed it all up, drove to the post office and sent it to London. Thanks for watching.